All of God's works bear witness to his wisdom and power, especially man who was made in the image of God. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Day unto day utters speech, and night unto night reveals knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. God wants his people to know him, and all that is seen in nature reveals that there is a God. They display his handiwork. They speak a clear message of his artistry and power. That they may know from the rising of the sun to its setting that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Nature so plainly reveals the goodness and greatness of infinite eternal God that man cannot say that there is no God. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Though God works in secret and his power is invisible, he makes himself known through his work. All that exists proves that there must be a creator. He is infinitely wise, powerful, and good. All declare his almighty power. He alone is the Lord, and nothing is done without him. He is sovereign over everything, and he deserves our praise. From the rising of the sun to its going down, the Lord's name is to be praised. In every place the Lord is to be praised for the excellency of his work and the perfection of the Creator himself. For he has made everything beautiful in its time. God has put eternity in the hearts of man. Therefore, we can never be satisfied with our own efforts and accomplishments. Our labors cannot bring us closer to God. It is the work of God alone that draws us to him. It is the labor of Jesus Christ that lifts the burden of our labors from our shoulders and provides perfect rest in the one who created us. In Christ, we are able to comprehend what we are only able to apprehend in nature. In him we have the full revelation in word and truth, what creation silently speaks of his majesty and beauty in its daily work. May we never cease in our devotion to learn the value of the gift he has given us in himself, nor fail to give him the glory and praise that is due his holy name. Give unto the Lord, O you mighty ones. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The voice is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The Lord sat enthroned at the flood, and the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your goodness and your grace, and the provision of your Son, Jesus Christ, and for the indwelling presence of your Holy Spirit, through whom you have shed abroad the light of Christ in our hearts. We will make a joyful shout to God. We will sing out the honor of your name and make your praise glorious. We will say to you, Lord, how awesome are your works. Through the greatness of your power, your enemies submit themselves to you. All the earth shall worship you and sing praises to you. They shall sing praises to your name. Let us come and see the works of God, for you are awesome in your doing toward the sons of men. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. In your merciful and mighty name, Lord Jesus, our Savior, we pray. Amen.